Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Apologies if I'm not yelling or speaking as loudly as I normally speak. Mike doesn't feel good and I don't wanna wake him up, so I'm trying to be as quiet as I possibly can. Today, I'm talking about my favorite drugstore finds of 2023. Skincare, makeup, I have a fragrance, tweezers, lip stuff. Before we get into it, Happy New Year. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Fortune. I love all things beauty. I love makeup. I love skincare. I love reading. I love working out. I speak a lot about grief and a lot about period pains. We talk about it all. It is just like my life on display. And if you're interested in getting to know me or hearing my thoughts, opinions, or you know, just would like some entertainment, then I would love it if you would subscribe and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. Let's hop into it. I'm so, so excited to share these products with you guys. My most recent product that my mom actually gave me, she re-gifted this to me. Well, she asked me if I wanted it. She told me it was a gift. My mom doesn't wear fragrance. I absolutely love this. I don't even know how to explain it, but this is the Bath and Body Works. It's called Meet Me in Miami. It just kind of makes me want to be on vacation, somewhere warm, tropical, on a pina colada, but there are breezy palm trees. These are the fragrance notes. It literally says this on the back. Cabana Colada's Suntan Days. I can't describe it. It smells so nice and I am someone that I have very dry skin and fragrance doesn't normally last very well on my skin. However, this lasts pretty decently for something that is just a fragrance mist. I would imagine this is like a toilet kind of a thing. I use this when I get out of the shower. I just spritz this all over my body and this is just like my at home kind of like warm, cozy scent. Now this is a different kind of mist. Milani Make It Last Fruit Fetish. This is the mango coconut scent. This literally smells like my childhood. This smells like summer when I would spend my summers at Thorley Beach with my dad with his like SPF 5 um, oil. This is a really good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know what it is. I'll insert a picture here, but this is a great dupe for that. I don't use this every day. I only use this on the days where I need my makeup to last a really long time. If you watched my Miami vlog, I brought this to Miami. It's great for humidity proof makeup. Love the size. It's like a travel friendly to go. Honestly, I love drugstore makeup so much more than high end makeup because when you find something that works for you, it is like so exciting. In our minds, for some reason, we think that the more we pay for something, at least maybe my mind, the more we pay for something, the better it will be. However, that's not necessarily the case. And I for sure know that that's why I love drugstore makeup. And I always say, if you are a babe on a budget, you can get it done, but follow along because I know the best of the best, whether it's high-end drugstore, I, I will steer you in the right direction. I don't know if I discovered this this year or last year, but my husband bought this for himself. And then I used it. I use an oil cleanser to break up the makeup, wash it off, and then I go in with this. This is a Neutrogena Skin Balancing Purifying and Softening Gel Cleanser. I really love this. I don't think Mike loved that I was dabbling into his skincare, so he bought me this. He bought me my own. I love it. It's great. It's got a nice pump, affordable, and again, you know, I always say if there's one step in your skincare routine that you do not need to spend a lot of money on, it is cleanser because the cleanser is not sitting on your skin. And so why not just go to the drugstore and get one like this? This tag on my shirt, it's driving me crazy. And I'm apologizing to you if you were hearing it this whole time. But while I'm doing this, let me also mention that I love this lounge set. I got this on Amazon. I will link my little like set haul that I did down below in a vlog, but it's so cute. It has like matching pants comes in different colors. I own it in this color and a cream color. I would say the cream color is definitely my favorite one. Also, oh, they're all dirty because I brought them all to California. Mike and I just got back yesterday. My little um, sports bra and the matching biker shorts. I will insert a photo video here. I bought two of them, fell in love with them. I think I own like five or six sets now. They're amazing. I highly recommend. Amazon has some really, really great clothes and I don't like spending a lot of money on athletic wear. When Mike and I were in California. We went to Aviator Nation, which is like a huge, I guess, like California brand. They have sweatshirts, sweatpants, like very like beach vibes, but like we went in because I was ready to buy something and the sweatpants were like 200 to $300. And I don't know about you, but I don't really spend that much on clothes in general. I would say like jeans are probably the most expensive thing that I've ever spent my money on. And I think the most I've ever spent is like maybe like 220 on my Hudson jeans, which 
were a buy of the year. I'm not gonna spend that much money on gym clothes because it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense in my brain to spend that much money on something that I'm just gonna sweat in and be all disgusting in. So definitely check out Amazon. I will link all the things that I just mentioned down below. I'm late to the game, but this is just Bioderma. Sensibio. I don't know. It's just my cellar water. I don't know. It says Sensibio H2O. When I wash my face at night, even when I double cleanse, especially on days like today where I washed my hair and I styled it, although your girl needs a haircut desperately, I use my Kitsch headband, which I love. I'm pretty sure it's $8, which makes it drugstore. Definitely one of the best steals and finds it this year. I will put a little insert of me using it right here, but I will use that at night to help hold my hair back and kind of like cover my hairline so that I don't get makeup and cleanser and all that kind of stuff in my hair at night so that my hairstyle lasts longer. Sometimes, you know, we're just like too afraid to get up in there along the hairline to get the makeup out. So I use this on a cotton round and I will just go over my hairline. You know on nights when you go out and then you come home and you wash your face in the sink? I wash my neck as much as I can, but like sometimes I'll have bronzer down here. So I'll use it along my hairline. I really use it all over, but hairline and neck is where I find that makeup tends to linger. And so this is great, wonderful and sensitive skin. Y'all know I have very dry sensitive skin and I'm 32 years old. I don't know if I use this in 2023 for the first time, but I love this, the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It is amazing, it is plumping the skin. It helps to just add an extra layer of hydration. If you don't know what hyaluronic acid is, do you, like, are you sleeping under a rock? I don't know. It's great for plumping up the skin, adding extra hydration. And I am someone who, again, dry skin, but I also got a facial when I was in Vegas and the facialist told me that I have very thin skin. So I find that using hyaluronic acid like this to help plump the skin, just, it makes me look younger. It makes me look more youthful and it helps to naturally brighten my skin because when your skin is plump, you just look brighter, better, more awake. I think this is like $6 and I love this because I use vitamin C topical drops. I would share them in this video, but they're not drugstore and they mix really, really well with this serum. And again, great for dry sensitive skin. So after my facial, my facialist told me that I need to start using an SPF of a higher degree. Y'all know I love my Murad sensitive skin cream with SPF 30, but she told me I needed 50. And so I went online and I went on Amazon because it's like where I buy everything. La Roche Posay SPF 50. You shake it. I love it. It's very runny. It's thin. It's beautiful under makeup. It helps to just like make the skin look glistening with or without makeup. It does go on a little white at first, but just work it into the face. Let it sit on your skin for about 10 minutes. Go in with makeup and I promise you, you're going to love the results. It's so, so good. It doesn't irritate my skin. Userin. It is a daily hydration cream with SPF 30. I like to put this down my neck and on my chest. I don't know about you. Facial products, I like to just keep it to my face, but we cannot, my friends, forget about our neck and our chest and our hands. Put it in my palms, rub it down my neck, rub it down my chest, and it's just gonna help to keep my skin in those regions nice, tight, firm, plump, supple for as long as possible. I really like this. It's a thick cream, but it rubs in really nicely. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It's hydrating, so it feels really nice on the back of my hands, and it doesn't really leave too much of a glisten. I use it all seasons because I do like to protect myself from the sun, regardless if it is out or not. You know, at night I don't use SPF though, but you know what I'm saying. I recently shared this with you guys in a vlog, but I've had this for a couple months at this point. This is the Bioderma Restorative Lip Balm. A lot of the lip products that I use are really nice and they're great for like preventing my lips from getting disgusting. But once my lips are disgusting and cracked and uncomfortable and just unruly, this fixes them. In one use, I noticed such a big difference. You guys know I have this like nervous habit of eating my lips. It's disgusting. I pick them with my fingers, I eat them with my teeth. I've been better lately, but 2023, I had huge gaping holes in my lip because I, it's just like an anxious thing that I do. And I don't even know that I'm doing it. I cannot tell you how many times a day my husband is like, stop biting your lips, stop biting your lips. And I can't stop biting them. And it does get bad. You know, like on those really crisp, cold days, you forget to put chapstick on. This is what I did the one time. I forgot to put chapstick on and I was walking in New York City to go get dinner with my girlfriends. I licked my lips once and I noted in my head, I said to myself, self, don't do that again because you're gonna ruin your lips. I only did it that one time. 
they were red, they were battered, they were bruised. This came in the mail literally the next day. I threw this on and it did way more for me than the excessive amount of Aquaphor, which I'm also gonna mention in this video did. I put this on like a crazy person and it did help, but nothing helps like this. I swear by this. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe this year will finally be the year that I learn about ingredients that I keep saying I'm gonna learn about. This was the first year that I ever used Aquaphor. I grew up as a Vaseline kind of girl and I realized that they're two polarizing products. You either grew up using Vaseline on your lips or you grew up using Aquaphor on your lips. I was a Vaseline gal and I still think Vaseline is better, but I like the convenience of Aquaphor. I like this tube. The one with SPF is garbage. Don't even buy it. It sounds enticing because I bought this without the SPF and then I saw the one with SPF 30 and I was like, that's great. No. It'll be great in the summer when I just need a little bit of like protection. But right now, I don't really feel like I need the protection. Um, I could use a little bit, but I don't. And so this is better. I was gonna put this on with you. I just like don't really feel like it. You guys know though, I love Maybelline Sky High. I've never used the primer. I bought this during the holiday season. I saw it at Walgreens. I bought it for myself. I have not used the primer, but I have used the mascara. I, I went through two tubes of it this year. My favorite drugstore mascara this year. I really haven't been using mascara, but to this date, my favorite drugstore, Maybelline Sky High, my favorite high-end still, Lancome Lash Idol. I will try this with you in an upcoming vlog. I just like the fresh faced miscellaneous things. Tweezer Guru. I cannot lie, Michael introduced me to Tweezer Guru. Um, specific, I bought the pack, it came with two. I think it's two for 11 bucks. I bought it for the spiky ones. These are really great for like ingrown hairs or just like getting those really stubborn hairs. The grip on these is really good, but mainly ingrown hairs. These are great for that. And it came with regular slanted tweezers, which these are also good, but I gotta be honest, my billion dollar brows, which is not a drugstore. I don't know how much they are though, but I will link them down below. My billion dollar brow tweezers are the best. These are okay, but definitely worth it for the price point. And I mean, you can just buy this stabby one alone and I, it's cheaper i'm pretty sure so highly recommend so good if you were someone that gets ingrown hairs this will be your best friend i know it wasn't the year of eyeshadow or like eye ness for me i love this moira i really want to try more colors but i used a lot of this this year everlust shimmer cream shadow in dazzling brown i will show you i want to try the copper one and they have a really pretty green one it just gives a little definition to the eye a little something something and it's really pretty and again, I literally just do what I did. I will pick it up, put a little bit on my lids, and it just adds a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of a dance across them, and just spices my look up a little bit without me really having to do anything. It's just like natural, see? But like a little something, a little bit of excitement. Elf, ugh, I think I got this brush in 2022, but I love it. It is the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. I use this for concealer. I use this for foundation. Just the way it's like shaped is great to really get into the inner corner of my eye. It whisks product across my face. It never puts anything on patchy, chunky. It's beautiful. I only use this with cream products and honestly, I would buy like six of these. I think they're like three bucks. In 2024, I'm not gonna buy any brushes because my brush collection is ridiculous. I honestly gave my sister-in-law so many brushes this year and I still have so many. So I think I'm done buying makeup brushes. I'm in a really good spot with them. Hourglass is definitely my favorite. I would say this is one of my top five brushes and it's e.l.f. and it's drugstore. And that's saying a lot. When it's in the same collection as Hourglass, honey. Let us move on to lip products. I'm going to link my dupe video above because honestly, like that gives you a really good rundown of all of the lip products that I used this year and I loved on high-end drugstore. We went through them all and we compared them. My favorite like lip find in the drugstore or just like honestly across all avenues, high-end, low-end, whatever end you wanna talk about. I don't know which one I would pick. I honestly think I would pick the NYX fat oils. They are so good very comfortable these are very hydrating these are very pigmented i have a pink shade which is mist call and i have the more red shade which is called newsfeed i've used these so many times i would say the red shade newsfeed was like my color of the holiday season i didn't even line my lips i threw this on my lips it hydrates them and it does that thing where it plumps them from the inside out and it pushes the fine lines out of your lips i love these more and I love the Dior lip oils. Like they, that, they are so pigmented. I don't know why I always swatch the side of my hand and then I'm like this. 
like twisting myself trying to show you. Oh, yeah, I don't want to twist. Do the twist. My dad loved that song. Now I'm like picturing my dad doing the twist. Please don't cry. It's like a nonchalant red. It's like I want to wear a red, but I don't want to commit to a red. And it's so, so beautiful on the lips. I would say that I wore this one the most though, just because it's like an easy pink, everyday pink. Now these are thicker oils. I do really like the Dior oils, but the Dior, they're a little bit thinner. They're both plumping. The Dior is a little bit mintier in my opinion, but I just, I really like this formula so much better. They're just really pigmented. They really pick up the light. They fill in the fine lines. Best lip find. Of 2023. Eh, not by far though, but yeah. I really loved these though. CoverGirl Clean Fresh. When I bought these, I had very low expectations, which always helps. I bought two shades. I bought Life is Pink, which is a very bright pink. Now, my husband loves these lipsticks. Every time I wear them, he says to me, oh my god, love your lipstick. This is a bright Barbie pink, and it's so pretty. Again, it has an iridescence to it. It's hydrating. It's really comfortable on the lips. This shade just like brightens my entire face. Like you may look at this and say, mm, is that too Barbie? Remolian, I love like the shape of them. I love the, I don't know. I just, I really like the packaging. This is my favorite made for peach. It's just like a really flattering peachy tone. Super pigmented comfortable products. I'm pretty sure I got the NYX fat oils on Amazon, but I definitely got the CoverGirl from Walgreens because I am a Walgreens addict through and through. I think I went to Walgreens. 2023 shout out of the year, Walgreens. Love you, boo. Two glosses that I absolutely loved this year. And I definitely have a favorite, but they're both really good. So I would say the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is in the shade Ice. I also own Stone and I'm pretty sure I own Amber. I leave Amber at work because it's like the perfect peachy kind of like gloss that adds a little bit of color, but it's like very subtle. So it's perfect every day for me. So I leave it at work. So I'm sorry, I don't have that one for you. I will bring it home and I will show it to you in a vlog. Charlotte Tilbury Lip Collagen Baths, but like, better because they're like a fraction of the price. Look at that shine. Oh my God. And again, it does that thing where it hydrates and it like plumps from within and like pushes the fine lines out. They have hyaluronic acid in them. So really good for those of you who have very dry lips or eat them like me. Okay, this color, disgusting when you first put it on. I went online cause I wanted to find another shade of this and all the shades look crazy online. And the best looking shade online is this one. This is Milani Keep It Full in Almost Natural. I mean, not to be morbid, okay? But it should be called Almost Dead because it is, it's bringing me like 2009. Was it 2009 when Kim Kardashian would wear concealer on her lips? You put it on, it's right here. And it doesn't look that bad. On the lips, it can look a little bit too pale, but if you give it a minute to sink into the skin, it really plumps the lips, makes them look really big. It does a really nice job of hydrating them and it makes them big without that like burny sensation that nobody likes. Very nude. I think the lighting is kind of making it look more pink than it actually is. I really like this. Again, give it a minute to sink into the lips. What I like to do is I'll put a dab in the center of my lip and then I'll pat it out with my finger, kind of just to like sheer out the color. This was my favorite lip liner for a very long time. It's still really up there, honestly. I was in the store and I don't know what's wrong with me, but I forgot the name of it. So I thought it was this, but it's not. But this shade is also really beautiful. I'm gonna show you both. These are the Koki retractable lip liners. I've loved on Dusty Rose for a really long time. The first Dusty Rose I ever bought was when I lived in my apartment in Clifton before I moved in with my husband, which was quite a long time at this point. Beautiful brownish flattering. It is a really beautiful lip liner. Even though they're retractable, which I normally wouldn't love a retractable just because the tip kind of goes away, but these hold on to their tip very well, despite them being retractable. And what's nice about them is that I can throw it in my pocketbook and I don't have to like worry about, did I sharpen it? Do I need to bring a sharpener? You know? So really nice. They're very long lasting. This is my favorite color, but in 2023, I acquainted myself by accident, it was serendipitous, if you ask me, with this shade, which is called Warm Nude, which is just a more warm, warm tone. They're very similar. This one's a little bit more peachy. They're beautiful. You can line your lips with them, fill your lips in with them, put a little bit of gloss over it, and they are very, very long lasting, creamy, but not like too creamy. I would get them both, especially because they're affordable. Honey Bee Gardens. They make my favorite 
pencil products. I started off with their lip liners. The first one I ever bought was in Fantasy. I don't love this color. Let me tell you something. I love this formula which led me to buy two more. And then I also dabbled into the eyeliner because I thought, hello, if the lip liner is this good, imagine how good the eyeliner could be. It's not like my most favorite. It's not terrible. I just honestly like don't reach for it as much as I reach for the other ones. If you're someone that has green eyes or blue eyes, I feel like this will really like pop. My favorite out of all of them is definitely Island Spice which is the one that I'm wearing today. I like a more brown, you know the vibe. So this is definitely a more brown lip liner, which I just find is most flattering for my complexion, for my skin tone. Put a little bit more on for you guys. It's just, they're creamy, but they're not too creamy. I don't love Charlotte Tilbury because I think her lip liners are a little bit too creamy, a little bit too crumbly. I love MAC. MAC is definitely my favorite. Honestly though, this might be more of my favorite now that I'm thinking about it because I like MAC because they're not super creamy and I don't like Charlotte Tilbury because they're too creamy and this is like somewhere in the middle. I took this to California and I used it for six days straight. I didn't sharpen this once. User friendly, again, they're creamy so you can go ahead and draw the lip on pretty easily but they're not gonna get like wonky and like slip and slide everywhere so that if you make a mistake, you have to clean it up. Island Spice is my favorite. My second favorite, which is just like so unique to my collection. This is Zen, a baby baby pink. Can't really tell that it's lip liner on your lips. It kind of just looks like your lip line, like your natural lip line. I have a subscriber who told me that she's missing pigmentation in her lips, which is a very common thing. A lot of people, like the pigmentation is not fluid. You can lose a little bit of pigmentation in your lips. And this is just great for filling them in. Granted, all of our lips are different shades, but this kind of has like an iridescence. It's a little bit like see-through, I would say. It's not like super, super pigmented. So I feel like it's great for shaping the lips on days where you don't want to wear anything. Let's move on to more Honeybee Gardens. Now, eyeliners. I bought Belgian chocolate, which is my favorite. It's like a rich chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. And they last in the waterline, which is unbelievable. Just like this color. This is like my color brown. It looks great in the waterline. It looks great on the lash line. It looks great as a winged liner. It looks great as just like a liner that you keep to the lash line just to help frame the eyes and make them look a little bit more defined. So good. Again, I just, the formula is perfection on these. This was my favorite. And then I also had to try the black, which this is in Jet Set and it is a really nice matte black. I like my black eyeliners to be jet black, matte black. I don't like a shiny black eyeliner. Same kind of formula as the lip liner. They're creamy, but not like too creamy. Stiff, but not like too stiff. Like these do not pull on your skin at all. They just glide across the skin. Super comfortable. They don't do that kind of like buildable pilling where it kind of gets like crumbly and messy. And I'm gonna buy more. If you like a glossy brow flick, or if you wanna like a glossy, that's so hard to say. If you wanna like the Glossier brow flick, which I wanted to like, but it was like, I don't know what it is. I thought I was good at makeup. Maybe I'm not as good as I think I am. I feel like I would put the brow flick in my brows and some days they would look impeccable. Like it was like, was she born with these brows? I, she might be, cause they look so natural. But other days they just look like big blocks across my eye and I looked terrible. I looked like a cartoon. I looked like a scary character in SpongeBob. I don't know why, whenever I think or see like block brows. I think of SpongeBob for some reason. Please do not ask me why. If you are into the eyebrow pens, I would highly recommend the NYX Lift and Snatch. I have two shades, Espresso, Ash Brown. I can't explain to you how amazing. So those are little brow flicks that I just did with the shade Ash Brown. The difference between this and Glossier, in my opinion, is that Glossier, if you press a little bit too hard, it gets too dark. These are like soft. It is like, Glossier, but like a faded formula. And I just got new tattoos. So I will show you the difference in my tattoo. Here's one tattoo. This is like what Glossier looked like, a thick line. Whereas this one is a faded line. And that is how I compare the two. This is an espresso. Now don't get me wrong. If you press hard, it will be a little bit darker. These are like beginner friendly. So again, ash brown and espresso. They're really good for beginners if you don't know what you're doing or if you're someone that likes to think they know what they're doing, i.e. me. I wanna show you the lipstick that I'm wearing today. This is a new addition to my collection. I bought it about a month ago, but my God, I have been wearing this lipstick every single day. I have never before owned an e.l.f. lipstick. Dirty talk. This shape. When I tell you this shape, it just like gets in there. Like, let's put it on together. Oh, the 
way it just like hugs the lips. I honestly want to see if they have a red because this is like the kind of formula that I like in a red lip. Something that's matte but not like uncomfortable matte. It's like matte but I wore this every day while Mike and I were on vacation and it didn't dry my lips out. Granted, I used something like Bioderma every night before I went to bed, every morning before I worked out and I put this on also when I got out of the shower and was doing the rest of my face. So I was hydrating my lips. However, I was also wearing this from the time we left the hotel in the morning until the time we got back late at night and it didn't dry out my lips. It's really comfortable. It is a very comfortable lipstick and it is so long lasting. It's not a matte that's gonna accentuate the lines of your lips, that's gonna accentuate the chappedness of your lips. It's a very, very comfortable lipstick and it gives me like high-end NARS vibes. It has a magnetic closure, which like, come on, we love to see it at the drugstore. I got a pack of like, I wanna say 50 of these hair ties. They're from Kitsch. I love Kitsch. I'm gonna reiterate the headband. We all need the headband. We need the headband. When I want to just like get my hair out of my face, these do not sustain a top knot. It's too loose and I put all the good oils in it and I just wanna wear it on top of my head. Not too tight though, because we don't want traction alopecia. These are the best. They hold my hair in place. They're really soft. I found these because I was using those like ribbon hair ties and then I was using the telephone cord hair ties, those two, when I was working out and I was doing abs on the floor. When I was like putting my head back on the mat, I could like hear like bing, bing, like my hair popping out from my scalp. That's how I found these that no longer happen to me anymore. These are affordable. These are amazing. Best hair ties I've ever tried. I do really like the slip ones, but save your cash. Don't be an idiot like me and spend a lot of money on hair ties. The reality is, is you really don't need to. This is dirty and disgusting and I should probably clean her. But these puffs from Amazon, when I tell you right now, mattify my face with powder better than anything else, better than my Scott Barnes brush, better than a beauty blender, better than my Laura Mercier powder puff. Like these velour puffs, look how cute they are. The shape is unreal. I can kind of like clean out my nose contour. I can go under the eye. I can just like stamp, stamp, stamp. I can throw this in my bag, take it with me throughout the day. Those are all of my best drugstore beauty 2023. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up down below. Do be sure to let me know in the comments what was one of your favorite drugstore buys this year. Please let me know because when it comes to drugstore, I have no, there is no stop. I no stop at all. I will go, I will buy it, I will test it, I will try it. I just, I love it. I feel like I'm not even spending money. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Subscribe and ring the bell if you have not done so yet. And I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.